Hey YouTube friends and family. I hope everybody's doing great. I'm doing much better today. I really am. I wanted to cover some stuff that's been on my mind. Really heavy. Really heavy. CT Watcher shared with all of us a um, video that she came across. And what she did is she read the lines that these children had uh, performed in a pro-Obama ad featuring children singing about America where sick people just die. And I have had that on my head ever since I saw it. All of you know that I am very much an advocate for children. And to have children used in any fashion to me is just an absolute horrible sin. It, it's a crime. You never use children for your own purpose or your own gain. The words to this disturb me really bad. It goes, imagine an America where strip mines are fun and free, where gays can be fixed and sick people just die and oil fills the sea. We don't have to pay for freeways. Our schools are good enough. Give us endless wars on foreign shores and lots of Chinese stuff. We're the children of the future, America through and through. But something happened to our country and we're kinda blaming you. We haven't killed all the polar bears, but it's not for lack of trying. Big Bird is sacked, the earth is cracked, and the atmosphere is frying. Congress went home early. They did their best, we know. You can't cut spending with elections pending unless it's welfare dough. We're the children of the future, American through and through, but something happened to our country and we're kinda blaming you. Find a park that's still open and take a breath of poison air. They foreclosed your place to build a weapon in space, but you can write off your au pair. It's a little awkward to tell you, but you left us holding the bag. When we look around, the place is all dumbed down and the long term's kinda a drag. We're the children of the future, American through and through, but something happened to our country, and yeah, we're blaming you. You did your best. You failed the test. Mom and Dad, we're blaming you. Mom and Dad, we're blaming you. When I first heard this, I got very angry. And that defense jumps up that says, wait a minute. We're not the ones that created the oil spills in our oceans and seas. We're not the ones that set up harp to destroy our atmosphere. We're not the ones that have created earthquakes that cracked Mother Earth from shore to shore and shore to shore. We're not the ones that have created the strip mining, destroying our landscapes and our forest. We're not the people that have limited the education of our teachers and the growth of our schools. We're not the ones that have sent 
all of the factories and work for this country offshore. We're not the ones. We're not the ones that are painting our skies with chemtrails, polluting the air that every living thing breathes, destroying the oxygen, filling it with barium and aluminum and viruses. We're not the ones. We're not the ones doing that. We're not the ones that are closing parks and taking the fun out of a child's life. We're not the ones that are adding fluoride to water and toothpaste and claiming it to be good. We're not the ones. Our, should, our children shouldn't blame us. We're not the ones. I mean, after all, my friends, we don't create the wars. We're not sending weapons into space. And they're blaming us. They're blaming us. My God. The children are blaming us. Why? Why? Because of the way their world is going to be when there is no us? When they're left to try and repair what we've destroyed? Oh, that's right. We didn't destroy it. We're not doing it. We're not in control because we choose not to be. We choose to be quiet. We choose to sit back and do nothing. It takes courage to do something. Courage. Yeah, they're blaming us. They're blaming us because we do nothing. We say we love our children, and yet we let them poison our children with pollutants in our sky. We don't march. We don't march to the White House or to our governor's palaces, capitol buildings, and object. We say nothing except maybe a typed word here and there, a video, pictures. We allow fracking that's destroying drinking water. We allow, we allow, we allow, we allow, we allow because we have no courage. We don't stand up and say no. We don't band together in big numbers. We don't even impeach for tyranny and treason. No. We do nothing. We buy our widescreen TVs. We make sure every family member has their own TV. We consume so much energy that we have to have nuclear power plants that we know in time will decay and do what? Do what? No. How dare they blame, it, blame us? How dare our children blame us? We won't carpool. We've got our own cool car. We don't want to ride with somebody else. Hope they're drilling for more oil. We do nothing. Oh, we whine. 
and we complain. But we're lacking courage. We say we love our children. We say we love the elderly, the disabled. We love our brothers and sisters in other countries. And yet we sit and do nothing. We do nothing. We have no courage. What are we afraid of? What are we afraid of? They're going to kill us. They're already killing us. GMOs in our food. Fluoride in our water. Barium, aluminum, viruses in our air. Fracking chemicals in our water. They're blaming us. The children are blaming us. They're blaming us. Yeah. I can see that. Where's the courage? Where is our courage? We talk and we talk and we talk and we talk, but we don't walk our talk. We do not walk our talk. Who you voting for? Who you voting for? Are we going to have a criminal in the White House? again? Are we going to continue allowing them to pollute and to kill us? How many diseases will it take? How many cases of asthma, cancer, Alzheimer's, and many, many, many more caused by all of this before we figure out what courage is. My grandfather had courage. My father had courage. Thank God they're not here to see this. Thank God they are not here to see this. I never thought I'd be glad that my daddy was gone. But you know what? He had too much courage to watch this go down. To sit on a couch watching movies rather than getting together and putting together programs marching up to the doors of the White House and saying, we will not tolerate this any more. Where's our courage? Can't even get people to write letters anymore. They're blaming us. Those little stinkers are blaming us. Wonder why. I wonder why.